it is August 3rd. We are back at E.E. E. Wilson and today we're starting on the south side. For people who are following us, you might notice that we are out every single day this past week or so. There are a couple of reasons for that. Number one, the weather is perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold, it's just right. Number two, it's the top of foraging season. So who are we to miss out on that? And number three, the air quality. As you can see, the sky is blue. The air quality is good. Even though there are fires raging across the state right now, we are in the clear around here. That, however, can change at any moment. And once the smoke falls, falls into this valley, it's not gonna leave for a while. We will be grounded and won't be able to get out much. So we're trying to steal every moment and see how much area we can cover. The parking lot around here is littered with shreds of plastic bags and some other things that either get away or people leave behind. We're going to tag it for future pickups. This area is, even though small, will take quite a bit of time. Right now our mission is to cover as much of the area as possible, get the roads inside the camp there and study up on some history. These spots will definitely need some focused attention. This is the disaster at the gate, coming mostly off the main road. We'll leave it for now and come back for a very special trip to just take care of this. We're at the block marked as Division Troops for 104th in the 70th Division. In the background, there is a chimney. One of these days, we'll try to make our way out there and see what's around there. We reached our first stopping point. There is a viewing blind down there. We're pretty sure it's a nice comfy spot to have a dinner. We're at the duck blind and debating whether or not this is a good place to sit down. We always survey the land for what we can find and sure enough, there's a steel ranger nightmare because this is about 10 feet or so below, but otherwise looks clean. We turned off a concrete road because it looks like it will lead us right back to the bottom of that of the uh, well, lookout with a can that's driving us crazy. And funny enough, on the unbeaten path that nobody has ever been on, we find a balloon. Surprise, surprise. Just as we were about to give up, this bumpy, crazy road led us right to the back of the duck blind. So we know we can re now retrieve a can and see what else is around it. I'm gonna go investigate. Sometimes the lengths we go to collect a dime or a piece of litter that's just bugging us is ridiculous. We just came through that opening over there in the middle of the shot. It was pretty, we got lots of blackberries, but I think we're done for the day. At least, no more bushwhacking. As we got off the uh, tractor truck, we see something on the side of the road. So a little auditor is gonna go investigate. Another one of those quote-unquote biodegradable bags, meaning they fall apart into gazillion pieces and just stay there. It's practically impossible to pick up all of those pieces. Once you're done with dinner, it's a good idea to pick up everything that's left behind. Some of this stuff was here before we got here. So who cares who it belongs to? Pick it up, pack it up, bag it, tag it, and put it in the proper recycling place. What used to be a very busy intersection. In the trees back here used to be division artillery. Back there is the road we came on. Across the street in these bushes was a chapel. A 
right across the street from that was a post exchange. And the little auditor is continuing south on the road to the next section. Just down past the trees there in the distance, you can almost see the bench where we just had our dinner. Off we go to find what else this place has to offer. Somewhere at the end of this road was a POW camp. As far as we know, the little place where the little auditor is speaking right now was filled with human misery. Now it's surrounded by beautiful trees, apple trees laden with fruit, and endless road. I wish the video could translate the smell. There's a smell of apples, blackberries, grass, and something else very, very sweet. secluded spot we find a pile of pallets and those are in there for intentionally those are setups for the beehives that you see right there in the bushes it's fascinating what the nature does this new road is a bypass the actual road we turned off on is right there through the rumble you can barely see the other side of it we reached the southern boundary of the concrete roads that's the place we just came out of we're going to go in this direction, which is the southwestern farthest corner that we can reach. The sun is setting. It's a lovely sunset on the backside there. We found a bench here. It's sitting on the slab of concrete. According to the map, that's the other side of the motor pool. For the 104th and the 70th divisions. And there goes a little auditor, careening out of sight. Here we are, seeing a chimney from the other side. It's right next to some kind of a shop. Hello everyone. Today we just came back from hiking around E. Wilson. We found this much water and we found one can. Plus we are currently in the dark and we spent two hours walking three miles, and we will see you next time on Hashtag Point. the car it's shining in the distance not too far waiting for me